Call or visit GetLeadFilter.com. Save 15% plus an extra $100 off. On Patrol, first shift, tonight on Reels. On August 28, 2020, Black Panther actor Chadwick Boseman died at the age of just 43 from complete organ failure due to cancer. Leading medical examiner Dr. Michael Hunter has been scrutinizing the case. In examining Chadwick's life, I've discovered a man who has often put others and his career before himself, then ignoring warning signs with his health. But since Chadwick's passing, new evidence has come to light of what really caused his death. Two months after Chadwick died, his brother Kevin announced that he was in two years of remission from his cancer. As a cancer survivor, I know that I detected it myself. I felt the lump. I alerted my doctor at a routine uh, checkup that I had. Chadwick's brother Kevin went public in late 2020 about his own cancer diagnosis in 2018, undertaking four courses of chemotherapy. I can also see that other members of his family also battled the disease, so there is a strong possibility that Chadwick might have suffered from family cancer syndrome. When two or more close relatives have had cancer, he stood a high risk of also getting it. After studying all the evidence, Dr. Hunter can now reveal how Chadwick died. It's my belief that far and away the biggest factor in Chadwick developing colon cancer is the familial predisposition to the disease. But also Chadwick's admirable but relentless work ethic may have meant he ignored some early warning signs. So when he finally went to the doctor, his cancer was already at stage three. And while Chadwick pursued his work on a mission to tell stories he felt strongly about, the cancer continued to advance, going from stage three to stage four. And as a result, a number of complications followed. He had rapid weight loss due to the relentless growth and spread of the cancer to other organs. Chadwick's health declined so rapidly that survival was impossible. Eventually, the cancer shut down his vital, life-sustaining organs. Chadwick devoted his life to his art, choosing to focus on bringing such important work about the African-American experience to fans meant that perhaps checkups, colonoscopies, and chemotherapy were put on hold. Colon cancer is becoming more prevalent in younger men in their 30s like Chadwick, recently rising by 2% each year. Colon cancer rates are also higher among African-American men, by as much as 40 to 50% higher than other racial groups. An explanation for this has yet to be fully concluded, but things such as socioeconomic disparity, healthcare access, historical abuse by the medical profession towards the black community, vitamin D deficiency, and also a culture of masculinity over colonoscopy screening. Nevertheless, Chadwick Boseman's death has brought about awareness of colon cancer that will potentially save many lives. That's an incredible legacy. Chadwick Boseman's death has put a spotlight on colon cancer that was not there before. It's raised an awareness. There are more people getting colonoscopies than ever before after he passed away. Chadwick Boseman's death, like his life, has inspired and changed attitudes. Hollywood executives were telling black Hollywood creatives that black films did not sell. He paved the way. He left a cinematic legacy that even people twice his age don't have. He leaves a legacy and it will just echo through history. I don't think we will ever forget about Chadwick Boseman. I'm still very, very proud to have known him and to have taught him and to have worked with him. His films will live on. I think about him throughout the day. The first thing that's on my mind is him. I have like breakdowns daily. And just as a black man in the acting world. He changed everything for us. For somebody to do all that work that he did while you're sick, 
it takes a special drive that is out of this world to do that. He was a real life superhero. He was Black Panther. I hadn't seen him since Gods of Egypt for maybe about a year and a half. And I've just seen him being interviewed with uh, Jimmy Kimmel. And he said, what was the, the origin of you getting the role? The guy was doing security. His name is Charles Carter. So he uh, he has, you know, them, them put his, his first issue of Black Panther, the an original 1977. The comic issue, book itself. The, oh. comic, the first Black Panther comic book in my trailer and writes a note. It says, I believe you're gonna be Black Panther. It was a good luck charm from, from, from Charles, so he mentioned that. Now, touch with this guy, this uh, Yo, security so, guard, Charles Carter, wherever you are. Oh, that's his name, Charles yeah, Carter. Yeah, 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 you were right. Come out wherever you are. So. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was quite funny, and the, the crowd thought it was quite funny too, so uh, I got in touch with him through his agent, through a friend of mine, and uh, then we're back in touch. He didn't have to do that, but that was his little thing. Yeah, I didn't forget you. He's such a beautiful, beautiful man, you know? He was a beautiful soul, and that's the main thing. The tributes are pouring in tonight for the act.